Psalm 135. We'll begin reading verse number 1. The Bible says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. You sure have been real pleasant around here this morning. Lord, we thank you for the sweetness of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord, for a good Sunday school hour. Thank you for good reports of two good jail services. Thank you, Lord, for good congregational singing, good choir singing, good special singing. God, thank you for folks that have already spent some time talking with you and doing business with you. God, thank you for sweet fellowship. God, all of it's been possible because of you and what you've done. Lord, it's not about what we've done. Lord, we can't do anything but mess things up. But it's about what you've done. So, Father, I pray you'd continue to allow your sweetness to flow through this place. Uh, and I pray you'd send great revival these days. Uh, Lord, how we need it. Uh, Lord, our country's in a mess. Uh, Lord, homes are in a mess. Uh, Lord, can I say Main Street's in a mess. Uh, I mean, folks are in a mess, Lord. Uh, and the answer is Jesus. Uh, God, I pray you'd fill this place with yourself. Uh, Lord, you get so big, uh, we can't help but go out and tell folks. Uh, it's all about Jesus. Uh, he's the answer. Uh, God, maybe uh, it'll flow through the streets. Uh, well, God, we'd see folks that, Lord, are addicted to sin get addicted to Jesus. Uh, and see, sin ran out of town. Uh, God, I pray you do uh, what only you can do uh, in these days. Uh, now, Father, I pray you put a hedge about us. Sorry, no good devil don't want us to have revival. Pray you'd bind him the powers of hell. God, I pray you'd go ahead and bruise his head a little bit this week. Show him the power of Jesus once again. God, I pray forever mailed in that track all cut up. Lord, it wasn't tore up. It was cut up very meticulously. They was trying to send a message. I pray wherever they are, you'd send a message. I pray you'd grip their heart, grip their heart in fear. God, hang them over hell and see what their eternity is. And then God, give them another opportunity to hear the gospel and be saved. God, I pray for every need of every heart here today. Lord, you know my heart. Lord, you know I'm full. But Lord, I don't have much left in my tank. And so God, I pray you'd help me use this unworthy vessel just to convey this little thought you gave to me. And God, may it help your people. And God, certainly if there be any amongst us unsaved, save them tonight, today before it's everlasting too late. God, get glory. You're worthy of it. We sure do love you, Jesus. Oh, thank you for loving us. Lord, it's in Jesus' wonderful name we do pray. Amen. Amen. This psalm is so loaded. It has so many wonderful thoughts to convey. But I want you to notice in these verses we read, there is a call to praise. Notice it's not a call to fellowship, but I like fellowship. Notice it's not a call to condemn. Notice it's not a call to hurt. Notice it's not a call to focus on us. It's a call to praise the Lord. Verse number one says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise 
ye the name of the Lord. Five times in this psalm, we are exhorted to praise the Lord. Can I say the lost can't praise the Lord? Can I say the world can't praise the Lord? The only ones that can praise the Lord are the yees that have been born again. If you're here today and your sins have been washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus, the friend, you not only can, but you have a right to praise the Lord. He is worthy of our praise. And we ought to praise him. We ought to bless him for what great things he has done. There is a call to praise the Lord. There is a condition for praising the Lord. Verse number one says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. Ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Uh, friends, there's a condition to praise the Lord. Uh, you got to be one of His. Uh, you got to be a servant of the Lord. Uh, you got to be one uh, who stands in the courts, uh, one who enters the house of God, uh, one who's come uh, uh, to assemble uh, uh, under the umbrella of His grace, uh, uh, under His name. Uh, one uh, that have come out from among the world uh, into a provided place uh, uh, to do one thing, uh, that is to worship uh, and praise Almighty God. Uh, I don't know why you came today, but I came for Him. Without Him, I'd probably already be in hell. We see a call to praise uh, a condition to praise, but notice the cause for praise. Verse number three says, Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. When we sing praise unto God, it is pleasant to the hearer, but it's pleasant to him. Imagine, uh, most of the world blasphemes him. Uh, most of the world cusses him. Uh, most of the world curses him. Uh, but when a little group uh, gets together on a little hillside uh, and begins to say, Jesus is the answer, uh, begins to sing, uh, uh, revive us again, uh, gets to sing all glory and all praise to him, uh, it's pleasant uh, to the ears uh, of Almighty God. Uh, and the psalmist says our cause for praise is uh, the Lord is good. Uh, my thought today is this. Uh, God is uh, good. Uh, let me say uh, God is uh, is good. Anything that you have that is good, every good gift, every perfect gift comes from the God above because God is good. I say he's a good God today. Oh, he is worthy of our praise today. He is deserving of us uh, to throw hands toward heaven uh, and say the Lord uh, is uh, good. Uh, I say he's a good God today. Uh, I bless his holy name uh, that he came my way uh, and he saved me uh, and he changed me uh, and he put a hope in me uh, and he put peace in my soul. Uh, I say the Lord uh, is uh, good. Uh, hallelujah. I bless his holy name today. Uh, can I say about God being good? Uh, he's a good father that provides. Uh, 
He's my heavenly father. And he knows how to provide good gifts to his children. Uh, oh, he's a provider. Uh, I've never, Seth, in 50 years of being saved, uh, have ever been hungry. Uh, I've never uh, not had clothes on my back uh, and shoes on my feet. Uh, I've never not had a roof over my head. Uh, I've never not had... Uh, the transportation I needed. Uh, I've never not had uh, fuel in my transportation. Uh, I've never not had uh, enough money to pay my bills. Uh, I've never not had uh, enough in the cupboard for my children. Uh, I've never not had uh, a need uh, that my father uh, hasn't provided. Uh, he's a good God. Uh, He's a good father. Uh, he knows how to take care of us. Uh, he knows uh, when to tell us we're doing good. Uh, and he also knows uh, to tell us not to go down that pathway. Uh, he's a good father. Uh, he's a father that cares uh, and says, cast all your care on him uh, for he cared for you. Uh, I say God is good. Uh, he's a good father. Uh, and I bless his holy name. Uh, he's a father full of compassion and tender mercy and long suffering. Uh, oh, he knows how in those dark midnight hours uh, when your soul is troubled uh, to just come up close to you and let you know he loves you and that he cares for you uh, and that he's in control. Uh, he's a good father. Yes. Who provides? God's good. Can I say this? He's a good forgiver who pardons. <laughs> Whoa! What a forgiver is he? When I came to him, I was lost. Uh, oh, when I came to him, my life was full of sin and sorrow and shame. Uh, oh, and I just said, uh, Lord, uh, and that's all that needed to be said. Uh, he forgave me uh, of all my sin. Uh, he cleansed me uh, of all my filthiness. Uh, I say God's good. Uh, he's a good forgiver uh, who pardons. Uh, Isaiah 55 and 6 says, uh, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Uh, call ye upon him while he's near. Uh, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts uh, and let him return unto the Lord uh, and he will have mercy upon him uh, and our God uh, for he will abundantly pardon. Uh, I'm glad uh, he not only forgave me of my past sins, uh, he forgave me of my present sins. Uh, he forgave me of my future sins. Uh, and can I say, uh, as far as God's concerned, uh, my inner man sinneth no more. Hallelujah. Because when he saved me, he robed me in his righteousness. He sealed me with the Holy Spirit of promise because he's a good God. God knew if he just forgave me of my past sins and didn't do any more forgiving, then I couldn't have made it. Couldn't keep myself saved. He had to save me because he's a good God. He knew what needed to be done. Isaiah 118 says, Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Uh, though they be red like crimson, they shall be like wool. Uh, if you're here today, you're lost. Uh, you need to know the Lord. Uh, he's a good Lord. Uh, he let you be here. Uh, and he'll abundantly pardon uh, and wash away all your sins if you'll come to him. Uh, can I say God is good? He's a good father. He's a good forgiver. Can I say this? He's a good God. He's a good fruit producer. Oh, yeah. Can I say Galatians 5.22 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love. That's a good fruit. Joy. That's a good fruit. The world doesn't know anything about joy. Huh? Peace. Huh? That's a good fruit. 
Jesus said, my peace I leave with thee, not the peace of the world, my peace. Uh, and the peace of God passes all understanding. I don't need to know the question. Uh, I know the answer, and his name is Jesus. Uh, he's a good fruit producer, huh? Hey, uh, 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 he produces long-suffering. And I say, I didn't suffer long for folks before I got saved. And it took me a while for that fruit to develop in my life, but he's a good fruit, fruit producer. Uh, uh, gentleness, that's a good fruit. Goodness, the good God uh, develops goodness uh, in his people. What a blessing. Uh, develops faith, uh, meekness, uh, temperance. Uh, I'm talking about this good God uh, is a good fruit producer, huh? Let me help you how you know you know the Lord. First of all, you know the Lord when you want other people to know the Lord. Second of all, you know the Lord when He starts producing fruit in your life. Uh, things you used to hate, coming to church, singing godly music, walking godly, talking godly, you didn't want to do any of that. But you got saved, all of a sudden you started liking them things. Huh? Uh, Brother Ron, you didn't care much for church till you got born again, did you? Yeah, huh? Say, so what happened? Jesus, he's a good God. Huh? Huh? He produces fruit. Huh? Huh? I'm glad he's a good God. He does things in us that we couldn't do ourselves because he's a good God. Huh? His spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the sons of God. Huh? Huh? Say, I don't know if I'm saved or not. Ask him. He'll tell you. Yeah. Huh? Can I say he's a good God? He's good because he's faithfully present. Amen. Hebrews 13, 5 says that he's a friend. That he said, let your conversation be without covetousness. And be content with such things you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. He's a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's faithfully present. Paul said that all men forsook him in 2 Timothy 4, 16. But in verse 17 it says, Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. Huh? You say, what happened? The Lord was faithfully present. Yeah. Friends will let you down. Amen. Family will let you down. Even your natural mom and dad can let you down. Right. And Jesus never will. Right. He's a good God. He's faithfully present. I thought about this. He's a good God. Because he's got a good future. He's a good future preparer. Right. John 14 says, Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. He said, I go, Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there you may be also. He's a good future preparer. He's gone to prepare a celestial city that has streets of gold, walls of jasper, gates of pearl, mansions on the hilltop. Uh, but can I say that's not the best part of the city. Uh, best part of the city uh, is the lamb is there and he's the light of the city uh, and we'll gather around his throne uh, and we'll worship uh, saying worthy is the lamb to receive honor and glory. Uh, hey, he's a good God. Hallelujah. That he's preparing a place for us. The very heaven since the alpha time, he says, isn't good enough for my bride. I'm going to prepare a new place for her. Call it New Jerusalem. He's a good preparer. He's preparing a future just for us. So I come to tell you, he's a good God. Let me ask you a question. Are you praising him? Oh, got quiet right there. Are you praising him in the sanctuary? Amen. Are you praising him out there in the streets? Amen. Huh? See, you can't praise him out there if you don't praise him in here. And if you don't praise him in here, there's one or two things wrong. 
either one you don't know him or number two you're out of fellowship with him there's not many days Miss Annette and I are out of fellowship but when we are I know it because she quits talking to me And can I say, it's not good in my life when we're not fellowshipping. I like when we're fellowshipping, Brother John. Uh -uh. Sometimes we don't even have to say things. She can just reach over and touch my hand. I like being in fellowship. (laughs) I can tell when I'm out in fellowship with the Father. Because he quits talking to me. There's some distance, Brother Clint. Some coldness. Because I've walked away from him. And the blessings won't flow till I get back to where I'm supposed to be. And by the way, most time when Miss Net and I are out of fellowship, it's my fault. Huh? And when I tell her I'm sorry, we can get back in fellowship. When I tell Jesus I'm sorry, we can get back in fellowship. And he'll start speaking to me again. Start loving on me again. Uh, every now and then, don't even have to say nothing, but Josh uh, just have to put his hand on me. Uh, just touch me a little bit. Uh, and I can come to the house of God uh, and say, praise the Lord. Uh, he's a good God. Uh, his touch is sweet. Uh, his voice is sweet. Uh, hey, the fellowship of God uh, is sweet. Hallelujah. He's a good God. Let me ask you a question today. Has it been good to you? Amen. Well, have you praised him? The psalmist said, Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Another place the psalmist said, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. Jesus said, If we wouldn't praise him, he'd command the rocks to cry out and praise him. It's pretty sad to think that there are rocks more willing to praise God than people that He's redeemed and washed in His blood. God help us. You want to have revival this week? Get in fellowship with Him and start praising Him and start telling folks how good God is because He's a good God. He wants to be good to you this morning. He's no respecter of persons. He's been good to me, and I'm sure he's been good to you. Amen. But are you willing to reciprocate his goodness by telling him thank you, tell him you love him, tell others about him, live for him, be in your place, ready to worship him listen I know there's some providentially hindered I know brother Bob and Miss Sonny be here this morning if they could be here I know they love the church I know brother Bob and Miss Sonny love me I know they love the Lancaster family and it's probably eating them up they couldn't be here this morning there's some who can't be here this morning but I'm going to tell you something it would take something catastrophic for me not to be here because I want to praise the Lord that he's been good everybody's asking what time I got in got in two in the morning said preacher you tired that's about what time I go to bed anyway no I wouldn't have missed coming and worshiping the Lord because he's been so good to me so you're the preacher that's not why I worship you're the pastor. That's not why I worship. I worship because he's been good to me. Are you willing to let God know how much he means to you? Let's all stand.
I want the Lancaster family to come back. I don't care what you sing. Just want you to sing something. But it's time to do business with God. Maybe you got to go do business with somebody so you can get fellowship with God right. I don't know. But I know God is good. Folks are coming. How long has it been since you worshipped? How long has it been since you've been in the altar? How long has it been since you let God know how much he means to you? They're picking out a song. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. You are good. You're great and greatly to be praised. Blessing this invitation. Anoint the singing now. Speak to hearts. Help folks get right with God. And God, certainly, if there's somebody lost, help them to come and give their heart to Jesus. We'll bless you for it in Jesus' name. Sing, family. Thanks to listeners like you, IBC has had over 100,000 views on our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, subscribe today. And as always, thanks for listening.